Welcome to Excel Practice 6. Start Excel, click Open, then browse to where your data files are saved. We will continue working on the same spreadsheet as Excel Practice 5. With the Excel Practice 5 open, select File, Save As, Browse, and then navigate to your Excel folder on your flash drive or other location where you save your files. Name the workbook as your last name, your first name, Excel Practice 6. On the Data tab, in the cell A14, type Projected Growth. Select the range A14 through F14 and merge and center the cells. Apply the cell style Heading 3 to the cell A14. In cell A16, type Estimated Growth Rate and press Tab. In cell B16, type Decimal 1-6. Select cell B16 and format it as a percent with zero decimal places. In cell A18, type Year and press Tab. In cell B18, type 2021 and press Tab. In cell B19, type 2022. With the range B18 through C18 selected, use the fill handle to fill the range D19 through F19 with the years 2023 through 2025. In cell B19, enter 15 million and format it as a counting number format. Apply bold and italics to cell B16. Use the Format Painter to apply the same format to cell A18. In cell C19, we will write a formula with multiple operators that calculates the projected growth in expenses with a growth rate of 16% for the years 2022 through 2025. Parentheses are used to determine the order of operations since there is more than one operator. An absolute reference is used on cell B16. The formula will look like this. Since an absolute reference was used on cell B16, we will use the fill handle to fill this formula to cells D19 through F19. Select the columns B through F and auto-fit the contents. Apply the accounting number format to the range C18 through F18 and ensure there are no decimal places. Do not worry if this worksheet is more than one page. We will adjust that at the end. Select the range B18 through B19 on the Insert tab in the Charts group. Choose Recommended Charts. Choose the first option, which is Line Chart. Move the chart so that the upper left corner is inside cell A21. With the chart selected, change the chart title to Projected Growth. Change the font color to Blue Accent 1. With the entire chart selected, right-click any of the dollar values and choose Format Access. In the Format Access pane, under Bounds, change the minimum to 5 million. The number will change to scientific notation. Close the Format Access pane. With the entire chart selected, on the Chart Tools, Format tab, select the arrow next to Shape Styles. Select Shape Fill and then Picture. On the Insert Pictures window, choose from File, browse to where you store your data files, and select the Beach.jpg picture. With the chart still selected, on the Chart Tools, Design tab, select any quick style, or leave the picture as the background. Add a new sheet to the workbook and name it Map Chart. In cell A1, type Comparable Cities and press Enter. In cell A2, type By State and press Enter. In cell A3, type State and press Tab. In cell B3, type Amount and press Enter. In cell A4, type Florida and then press Tab 
and type 15,500,000 in cell B4 and press enter. In cell A5, type California and then press tab and type 20 million in cell B5 and press enter. In cell A6, type Washington and then press tab and type 50 million in cell B6 and press enter. In cell A7, type Virginia and then press tab and type 10 million in cell B7 and press enter. In cell A8, type Oregon and then press tab and type 30 million in cell B8 and press enter. Auto fit all cell contents. Select the range A1 through B1 and merge and center. Apply cell style heading 1. Select the range A2 through B2 and merge and center. Apply cell style heading 2. Select the range B4 through B8 and apply a counting number format with zero decimal places. On the Insert tab, in the Tours grouping, choose the arrow next to 3D Maps and choose Open 3D Maps. In the 3D Maps window, in the Maps group, choose Map Labels. On the Scene group, select Themes and then choose any theme. In the Tour group, choose Capture Screen. Return to the Map Chart tab and right-click in cell D3 and select Paste. With the map selected, resize and move the map so the upper left-hand corner is in cell A10 with the lower right-hand corner in cell E26. Group all the sheets. Press Ctrl plus F2 to display the print preview. Examine all three pages of the workbook. Launch the Page Setup dialog box. On the Page tab, ensure all pages fit to one page. On the Margins tab, center on page horizontally and vertically. Ensure Show the file name shows in the left section of the footer in all sheets and then click OK to exit the Page Setup dialog box. In Backstage View, view Select Info and show the advanced properties. Add the following. If necessary, change to Landscape Orientation. Run a spelling and grammar check compare your file and make all necessary corrections. Ungroup the worksheets. Submit as instructed by your instructor. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.